Hello teachers! In this station, you're going to be working on project-based learning and the resources that accompany them. So a few of the things we're going to mention are iMovie, Windows Live Movie Maker, Extra Normal and Animoto, Taxito, Prezi, and Share My Lesson. So well, without further ado, let's get started. Now iMovie and Windows Live Movie Maker are two very similar programs. One being Mac based, one being PC based. So let's start with a short clip of how you would do an iMovie. So that's a brief introduction to what I, iMovie and Windows Live Movie Maker can do for you. <clears throat> Both very simple programs. Windows Movie Maker actually allows you to follow a one, two, three step process where one allows you to import the video and audio. Step two allows you to edit and add titles, video effects, etc. And three is actually finishing the movie where you're exporting it to your computer. Next thing we're going to look at is Extra Normal. Very similar to Animoto. What's great about all of these resources is that when your students are creating these websites or creating these projects or doing these projects for you, it allows them to be creative in the way that they submit their project. Rather than paper, pencil, or a poster, this gives them a lot more options in terms of what they can do and you'll be surprised at what they'll come up with. So here's a short video of what Extra Normal is like. So, just to show you how easy this is, I logged into one of my accounts. In here, you choose a set. I happen to choose Big Ben in London. Then I chose my actors. One of my favorites is Einstein, and I also chose, especially for the day, it's Martin Luther King. Then I go into sounds, and I can change the background noise, and I chose city streets. And the background music, we can create a disco, if you will. Then we would go ahead and go into our story, and this is where we would type in the text. Now I've already generated a preview for a two-line extra normal that I've created. So while it's doing that, you would easily you would click preview down below. Then once you're done, you can save it if you want to take a break or if you want to save it as a draft. And when you're done, you'll click publish. So, that's how easy it is to create an extra normal. Animoto is the same idea, just different cast and characters. So while that's loading, let's go take out, let's take a look at Prezi's. Prezi's are a nice way for you, oh, here it is. So there's our short extra normal video. And getting back to Prezi's, Prezi's is a very creative way for you to create a presentation. In doing this, you're, 
you're allowing your viewer to see a much cooler profile than a PowerPoint presentation, for example, which in this case I, I just chose to use. So once you're here, you would go ahead and click Create a New Prezi, select a title and description, then you would choose your background. Now I already started one for our purpose. This is what your, your Prezi will look like once you get started. Then on the left, you'll see the navigation is very similar to PowerPoint. On the left, you'll see each slide, so to speak. <clears throat> and then once you select one of them, for example, two is the first portion where I can write anything. So I already started this. I'm going to go to t five because I haven't written anything there just yet. And I'm going to change obstacle two to task two, for example. And here, I'm going to type in whatever I feel like. So, how was your day? And it's this easy. Once you're done, you can go ahead and click present. So, the way that you control this is you would start from the very, very, very beginning. And once you'd like to proceed, you'll click the spacebar, and I'll start you on your first slide. So welcome to the 21st century. Think of it as more of a journey. It will take some time, but with some support and training, mastery is attainable. And you'll see, but it's slightly covered, is where we mention, how was your day? So creating a Prezi is that simple. Last but not least, in our station is called Tagzito. Now Tagzito allows you to create these very interesting art pieces of artwork basically to help in the learning. So I could go in here to load and type in the types of words that I would like to mention. Say Bitsa, uh, San Diego Unified or San Diego Teaching students, whatever word comes to mind. When you're done, you'll go ahead and click Submit. And you're done. From here, on the left-hand side, you can change your color, change your theme, font, orientation, layout, etc.